There is a cleansing needed in our FBI and Department of Justice. It needs to be cleansed of individuals who should not just be fired, but who need to be taken out in handcuffs. Now, there have been times in our history when corruption and lawlessness were so pervasive that examples had to be made. This is one of those times. Handcuffs for Andrew McCabe, deputy director of the FBI, the man at the hub protecting Hillary and attempting to destroy Trump. Now, according to Senate Judiciary Chair Grassley and confirmed, being investigated by the Department of Justice for seeking money for his wife's campaign to run with Hillary from her bagman, Terry McAuliffe, chairman of her presidential campaign and board member of her Clinton Foundation, that slush fund. All the while, McCabe was investigating both Hillary and McAuliffe. Grassley says McCabe, and we've confirmed this as well, is also being investigated by the Office of Special Counsel for violating the Hatch Act, which prohibits political activity by federal employees, for using his government email account to distribute contents in his wife's campaign. And at the height of political chutzpah, he actually sends his FBI resume to McAuliffe before he and his wife meet to grovel for Clinton cash. There are also photos of him campaigning for his wife. Now, McCabe is also being investigated by the EEOC on the complaint of a female FBI agent. All investigations have been going on for almost a year while McCabe still works for our FBI and collects a check from us. Handcuffs, too, for Peter Strzok, a high-ranking FBI agent working under McCabe, the one who actually changed the language from grossly negligent to extremely careless in Jim Comey's exoneration of, exi of Hillary Clinton. And also with the hub, Strzok worked with Christopher Steele, the one who wrote the Trump dossier, created, bought and paid for, to destroy Donald Trump by the Clinton campaign. Reports are that Strzok was the one who signed the application for a FISA warrant, which was then used to surveil Trump's campaign, which was then used to illegally unmask Americans. But, of course, the new director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, refuses to give up that information. And struck after being loaned from the FBI to Mueller's team, almost one and the same at this point, is removed from Mueller's team because of anti-Trump text messages to his mistress, a lawyer for the FBI. And to show you how screwed up Washington is, they send an FBI married guy having an affair with an FBI lawyer to work in human resources as if he's qualified to counsel on how to conduct yourself at work. And by the way, if that's the only reason Strzok was demoted, why wasn't she demoted? Maybe because that's not the only reason. And Bruce Orr, Assistant Deputy Attorney General, another beaut. He secretly meets with the guys from Fusion GPS, the ones who received money indirectly from the Clinton campaign to write the fake dossier brought and, bought and paid for by the Clinton campaign to destroy Trump. And James Comey, the one who exonerated Hillary before the investigation was completed. The man who, with one question, could have indicted Hillary. Did you send U.S. United States classified information on an unsecure server. If she says yes, that's a crime. And if she says no, that's a lie. You remember Comey, the one who conducts himself in a holier-than-thou manner. People at the FBI called him Cardinal Comey behind his back. So political, so corrupt. He decides to take over the attorney general's job to announce no charges against Hillary. The one warning Hillary Clinton at every stage what he's looking for. Her iPhone, her laptop, her server. Giving her the chance to delete 33,000 emails and then permission to obstruct justice with a hammer, bleach bit, and a delete button. 
Now, you remember when Comey reopened Hillary's case in October, before the election, right after he exonerated her? Everyone started saying, look, this guy is so fair. Folks, he wasn't being fair. The NYPD was going to out him when they found classified information on dirtbag pervert Anthony Weiner's laptop from Uma and Hillary and Robert Mueller. In a year with a team dedicated to destroying Donald Trump, he can't come up with one piece of evidence. And as hard as the mainstream media tries to make stuff up, like Brian Ross with ABC, CNN, Bloomberg, Reuters, and the Washington Post, all in one week, they have nothing. So this week, Christopher Wray, the new FBI, FBI director, refuses to provide Congress with information. Did Peter Strzok help produce and present the application to the FISA court to secure a warrant to spy on Americans associated with the Trump campaign? Uh, Congressman, I'm not prepared to discuss anything about uh, a FISA process in this it's not a, What was presented to the FISA court? I do not believe that I can legally and appropriately share a FISA court submission with this committee. In truth, nothing prohibits the FBI from giving Congress that information. So why is Ray punting? Because a politically contrived dossier used by the FBI to generate surveillance on Trump by the opposing party in a presidential election spells disaster. For the better part of the last year, you and I have watched together as members of Congress beat their chest every time they have a hearing. Well, I, for one, am tired of investigations, politicians posturing. Something more has to be done. The stench coming out of the Justice Department and the FBI is like that of a third world country where money and bullies and clubs decide elections. It all started when Cardinal Comey destroyed our FBI with political hacks to set events in motion to destroy the republic because they didn't like the man we chose to be our president. Well, it's time to take them out in cuffs. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. Hashtag Judge Janine.